Okay, so this is uh, my cat Yorma. He's he's an outdoor cat, indoor outdoor. He's eight years old, and uh, back in uh, third week of May, he was limping. So I looked at the bottom of his paw, and he had some kind of cut, a puncture wound on something on the bottom of his pad of his paw. And after a couple of days of him not putting any weight on it, I thought I'll check him out. And I looked at him, and nothing was broken. I just assessed him and tried to figure out what's going on. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so I soaked it in Epsom salts. The next day, his paw was swollen up like a balloon and uh, he just didn't look good. And so I took him to the vet, emergency vet, it cost me so much money. Um, they did all kinds of tests, they shaved it. They found like more than another little puncture wound on there, I think, and wrapped it up and gave me all kinds of antibiotics. And they also took a culture to see if it was some kind of bacteria they could figure out what was wrong. Uh, and so a couple, three days later, he looked worse. He looked like he was dying septic, you know, um, just lethargic, uh, and the, and the wounds were getting worse and worse. And now the top of the, his foot was seeping because mm -hmm. it was so swollen and, um, brought him back to the vet again, like, you know, the next week or whatever, whatever it was, it brought him back that day. The doctor was like, oh, that's not good, you know, and they gave him more antibiotics, waited for the culture to get back, gave him those, another round of antibiotics. And then um, I took him, the doctor saw him a week later and said, I'm really, it's not okay. What he looks like, maybe he has cancer. I want him to see a, a dermatologist. So I called, uh, Tufts and Waltham and, or no, Angel and Waltham, and they said, uh, all right, well, we can't see him for months, but, you know, if he's really sick, you can bring him to the ER, which is the same thing, and our doctors are here. So I brought him, you know, $1,800 for both of these mm -hmm. hospitals. Um, luckily, I had money. And <laughs> so um, they were like, oh, that's not good, you know, and so then... In the meantime, his legs started swelling all the way up. It moved all the way up his leg, and then wounds were just opening everywhere. It was just like I didn't know what to do. So they wrapped him like almost a cast so that he couldn't get to it anymore. And um, it's okay, honey. Relax. Um, after. I brought it back for a bandage change, then I brought it back again for another bandage change. It was only supposed to cost me like $70 for the tech visit or the bandage change, but when I got there the last time, they were like, this is really bad. You maybe, we don't know what it is. We don't know what is causing it. He might have some kind of serious thing that a cat's get, and you could cut his leg off, but in six, it might take six months of antibiotics to heal, then it might not even fix the problem. So I'm like, what are you telling How'd me? How'd you find Put him to Wu? sleep. I was crying. You know, and I just was sitting there and like, but he's still going to the bathroom and eating. eating and drinking every single day. There's no way I could put him down. So I looked up, you know, alternative medicine and then found out Dr. Wood is right down the street from my house. <laughs> so uh, my daughter and I brought him over here and she, she did a tiny bit of acupuncture. He licks me up some herbal tea for me to make, uh, you know, a decoction and soak his foot twice a day in loose gauze and put a salve on it, on the skin. In, it was Salman Quim, Salman Quim, three-year-old Huang Liang Huang Qin Huang Bai. Yeah, and seven days, all the wounds were gone. Mm -hmm. um, the swelling was gone, but, you know, I, and I was worried about necrosis, all this stuff all along the whole time, but uh, his leg was completely paralyzed. I couldn't get him to push his claws out, then I was worried something might, you know, grow in and be more of a problem. And I called Dr. Wu back and he said, don't worry, just, you know, nerve damage, whatever. Just do, do acupressure on his spine like 30 minutes a day, mm -hmm. which was too much for a cat. I did, did, and then he'd have to like rest for a day. Um, <laughs> but, but, because I do, I do healing with my hands all the time. So, so, um, a couple of, I don't know how long ago, but the, he, you know, a few weeks ago, it took a while, but his, his feeling came back. He started, he start, I was just waiting for him to do this. And then mm -hmm. he started doing it. And I was like, oh my God. And then it slowly came back. But, uh, and he's had a limp the whole time. But it seems like the last week, 
the limp is getting worse and he's starting to not put the paw down mm -hmm. again. Um, and he had lost some weight and they did tell me he was anemic at the vet because I had, I said, do, do a whole blood count so I can see what's going on. You know, his white cell was elevated, which is normal during all this infection, but yeah. I don't know if he has some, you know. Listen, you. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. this. <laughs> you just stay here. Let them do this. Let them work on you, Bubé. Okay? Alright. Can you fix your leg see what well, see what's wrong with you? I don't know if you can tell. Aww. You're alright. So that you know, that brings us today like May, June, July, August. Four months. Mm -hmm. you know? But he's he's going out and I, I didn't know and he lost the weight too and I was like, Well maybe that's just not from hunting. Because I, I was feeding him salmon and tuna like every day. <laughs> Started giving him like coconut oil to help cleanse his system. Uh, a friend of mine told me we'll give him liver that'll help with the anemic thing. But I brought some chicken livers. He was like, no. And then I cooked him, no. So then I, he won't eat that. Um, I'll build his blood back up. I'm not sure how to do it. But I mean, his eyes look good. His, yeah. He looks... It looks like a healthy he, cat. He acts normal. Yep. You know, he's not wincing to my touch, really, but it seems like in the last day he maybe was a little bit in his shoulder. I'm, I'm just worried that he's in pain and can't tell me what mm -hmm. it is. And I haven't been able to figure we it out. We have to do acupressure on the spine again. Yeah. Well, I, I do. Right. I haven't yeah. been thorough about it. Yeah, you, you, do, do, you can do it every other day. Every other day, so we good. Okay. Okay. 